What's happening guys, back at you with another video. So in this video, basically what I'm going to be doing is another Rocky and Creed ranking video. This one I'm going to be ranking off the final fights that we get in the movies. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright, so we all know that Rocky and Creed movies are, you know, basically um, culminated with the final fight. And each movie, each movie has a final fight, final match. Uh, in each, in, basically in all nine movies. So basically I'm going to be ranking all the fights, the final fights, uh, from the bottom to the top. You know, just basically how well they are, like how good they are, just how I was feeling about the fights, and just everything like that. So, let's go ahead and get started into this one. Coming at the bottom, it's probably going to be no surprise to people. It's going to be Rocky V. Rocky V was, didn't really have a boxing, max, boxing match. It was a basically straight-up street fight between Rocky and Tommy Gunn. Um, I mean, Rocky V is basically everybody's most, like, least favorite Rocky movie. So, with this fight... We didn't even have a boxing match. It's a straight-up street fight. Although it was kind of entertaining to see, but, you know, still, it didn't feel like it was really well-earned or anything like that. But nonetheless, uh, that's what we got in the Rocky Five. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next one is going to be Rocky Three. So, so the thing about Rocky Three is um, I think it's a good fight, but it's very short. It's a very short fight. They get only last, like, three or four rounds. Uh, basically, had, like, Rocky trying to wear down Clever Lang, like, you know, getting tired and all that, I guess. And um, it just felt like, you know, it was definitely it felt like it definitely felt like a short fight. I think it was only three or four rounds. And of course, um, Rocky ends up winning the fight. And you know, and yeah, that's basically what happened. It was very short. It was kind of short. It felt very short to me. Uh, I didn't really get too much of that grand, um, grandiose from like other fights that I've seen in the series or you know the whole franchise and all that stuff as a whole. Uh, but yeah, that's why I put on this one was. And then moving on to the next fight for me is going to be Rocky Balboa. The thing with Rocky Balboa's final fight is that um, I think the I think the thing that puts it down a little bit for me is that you can kind of tell age has caught up with Rocky. Not saying I'm not trying to say anything against him, anything like that. He's definitely in physical uh, peak physical shape for his age and all that, and still looks good for his age for um, you know being physical and all that. But uh, you can definitely kind of see that age does catch up with him in this fight, and also too. Uh, villain or you know antagonist of um, Mason Dixon is not a very compelling one in the movie you know I didn't really feel like he was a very good antagonist to like you know or like a compelling antagonist really so I really just felt like Rocky was just being up this one note kind of guy and it just didn't feel like it had all the spectacle and all that stuff um I mean I like what it was represented that you you know that Rocky could st still go to distance even at that age and all that but it just didn't I just didn't feel a spectacle of it uh, Mason Dixon wasn't really compelling as an antagonist and all that, so that's, that's why it's a little bit lower on the list for me. Going on to the next one, and I, this, this next one I do struggle with a little bit on where I put it at, but uh, maybe over time it could go a little bit higher, but I, I did like some of the things they were able to do with this match, but um, that's going to be Creed 3. Um, I like some of the things that Michael B. Jordan, with uh, his directorial debut, he was able to do with this match, and he, like I said before, he heavily said, uh, or he said as heavily influenced by anime. And you can definitely see that in this final match, and especially the way it's like shot and all that with slow mo, um, and just the anime inspired, anime inspiration, and also too just uh, some of the things he was able to do um, creatively, where it's like almost like a metaphorical dream sequence of of of, of sorts. I don't want to really spoil it too much, just in case nobody's seen it yet. But um, yeah, it's like almost like a, the way it's like shot to where it's like the crowd. There's no crowd and. All you hear is just silence, but you hear the blows and stuff like that. And then you have this metaphorical dream sequence where it's like stuff from their past and just the way their relationship is and all that. You know, it's met very metaphorical and it referenced their, uh, the way their relationship is in their past and all that stuff. So uh, I like I do like it. It's definitely a step above um, some of these other choices in the list. Um, so uh, time will tell if I enjoy it a little bit more, but I do like what he's able to do with it. Um, you know, giving us a little something different, a little change um, in the Rocky and Creed franchise. Um, giving us a little something different with this. So, I did enjoy it for the most part, though. I liked it. Moving to the next one list is going to be the first Creed movie. Uh, so, this is Adonis Creed's uh, match with Pretty Ricky Collin. And I like this match. It's definitely a very, um, very spectacle kind of match. Uh, especially for the Creed movie, the first Creed movie. And just the way that everything was set up before. Um... You know, I like the way it was shot. I liked what the fight kind of meant to Adonis Creed, and you know, the way he was like, kind of um, rep like the what what the match was kind of represented for Adonis Creed himself. You know, throughout the movie, he wasn't really taking the Creed name, and then you know they gave him this match, but only if he was able to take the Creed name. So he decides to take the Creed name, 
and just throughout the movie you see how he's like training for the match you know and then you know he comes to the match the way it's like shot the way they have the score in there you know it feels like it's it's awesome match and some of the things that he says during the match you know when he's on the he's on the side too and he's on he's talking to rocky and rocky like rocky's like telling him you know why you why you take why you doing this fight like what you what do you got to prove whatever and stuff like that and then you know don sees over saying i gotta prove that i'm not a mistake and it really hits you though whenever he says that because it's like you know he's trying to prove himself he's trying to prove that he goes the distance he's trying to make a name for himself he's trying to um you know like he's just trying to prove to everybody that he's not a mistake and that he deserves to be there and that um he deserves to create name and all that you know so it's really it's a really compelling match when it comes down to it and i really like this match i like the things it represents i like the way it's shot just an awesome feel-good match it was next up on this is going to be creed 2 this is adonis creed versus drago um i like this match whenever i was re-watching the creed movies and rocky and creed movies whenever it came to this one this one gave me goosebumps and chills during the time when i was watching it uh the score the score man the score is a big part of some of these matches you know if it has a good score it could definitely set the mood for the fight and all that so the score in this one is really good um just the way that you see adonis trying to train right before the fight uh just the the the, what the match represents you know you got creed versus drago like kind of like a a rematch of sorts but it's like with their sons you go you got drago who killed uh Donis's dad in a boxing match you got Donis creed basically taking his match against drago he's not necessarily taking it for vengeance the first match between them was kind of a vengeance fight this one is like just a match that you know his he's doing and it's you see the amount of training that he went through it's paying off in this match it's very hard hitting and the things they're able to do with this match and then some of the things i like in the match like i said the score and you know watch this match gave me chills and goosebumps but um some of the things that was happening during the match like there's the part where referee was asking uh donis creed he was like you know because he got knocked down you, you know he checks on him some of the things so saying what's your name and then don says creed and then he, a referee asks him again what's your name and then he don yells out creed again so it's like a very powerful statement powerful moments in the match where he's like creed is my name i'm a creed i'm gonna show you what what creed's doing all that uh so and then another thing i like about this fight is how you know uh drago's mom she actually leaves in the middle of the fight she's seen she's seen that her son is being defeated and she she leaves she walks away and you can just see on uh on drago's face like whenever she leaves and he notices that she left you just see the hurt on his face and it really says something because then he's just he comes back and he's trying to just stay in the match and all that stuff but you see how ivan drago he's on the, the he's in the corner and all that and it, he's seen his son getting beat down again beat down and all that and he's he start he starts to realize you know because throughout the whole movie he's trying to get back into russia get the recognition of his country and all that and he's using his son to do that but he changes in that moment to where it's like this is my son i gotta protect him and all that so we see him he comes up on uh, out of the corner and he see you see the towel in his hand and it's like very reminiscent to like the time of rocky four where rocky should have thrown the towel in for um apollo creed when it was going down like that and he just it's, it's just a powerful moment that you see ivan drago he's coming up onto the ring he has a towel in his hand he throws a towel and he's doing that because he's trying to protect his son um it's a very powerful moment and it just gives you chills and goosebumps and all that just the way this match just everything this match represents uh, in general too and it just a powerful match I really enjoyed this match. It's one of my favorites. And out of the whole Rocky and Creed franchise. Next up on the list is going to be the final fight in the first Rocky movie. Apollo Creed versus Rocky Balboa. I really like what this match represents. Rock, the way that Rocky was in leading up to this fight. He was saying like, you know, I don't think I'm going to win. Nobody's nobody's really won against Apollo Creed. But I just want to prove to myself, prove to other people. I just want to show people that I can make it and go to distance. So, you know, just how rocky was before his fight and training for the fight he's just trying to prove himself and prove himself to people and he wasn't really trying to win and then you see that in the match two during the match two the score like i said the score score is powerful in these matches it makes it makes a total difference when you have that score but um even during the match you know it's a, it's, a, it's a powerful match you know these blows you hear them and you feel them and you know you see rocky and you see the rounds going up and up and up more you know he's he's lasting each round he's proving himself he's going to distance and all that and you know it leads up to all the um leads up to you know rocky like it comes down to a split decision and it's like rocky doesn't really care about who you know who they announce as the winner like he's not even paying attention he's over there looking for adrian and it really speaks to you that that 
this match wasn't about winning. It was just about proving himself, proving that he could go to distance against Apollo. And when it came down to it, he didn't really care who won. He was just looking for Adrian and, you know, just basically speaks to the rest of the movie to how him and Adrian were trying to develop this relationship and, you know, kind of get that throughout the movie. And then, you know, you see how Rocky is just like, doesn't really care about who's being announced as the winner. He's looking for Adrian and it just shows that he wasn't trying to win. He's just trying to prove himself and, you know, prove that he could go to distance against Apollo. So it's really, it speaks, um, it's powerful, uh, speaks powerful moments in there, you know. Uh, moving on to the next one is going to be Rocky IV. This Rocky, um, this match is against Ivan Drago, Rocky Balboa versus Ivan Drago. This one is a power, like, blows and everything. You feel the blows. You feel how hard they're hitting each other. But, like, just what the match represents in general, too. Like, you know, Rocky went to Russia to face Ivan Drago to really get vengeance and avenge his friend Apollo, who died earlier in the movie against Ivan Drago whenever he had his match. And it just speaks volumes to... That he was able that he Rocky does that. He goes to Russia, he trains, and you know, he has his match against Ivan Drago, which he you know, he's just doing it for his friend, he's trying to do it for you know, just to show them and all that. And it just um I like this match. It's one of my favorite matches out um out of all the movies. Um, you know, Rocky knows that Ivan Drago is so powerful. He knows that he might not win, he knows that, but he's just doing this because he needs to, he feels that he needs to do this. And just the way this match was, it was heavy hitting. You feel those blows and just how it went for so many rounds and all that. And it's just, it's powerful. It's a powerful match. It really is. It's a powerful match. Just the way it blows. And then, you know, whenever it comes down to it, Rocky ends up winning in the final, uh, you know, winds up winning. And the way it just, just the way he speaks to the people after, after he wins and stuff, it's like, you know, he's talking about this motivational speech that he gives, you know, he's like talking about change, you know, if a, he thought a certain way of these people in Russia, and but he changed his mind and, just, you know, seeing these guys, you know, kill each other, he's, he's saying they're basically at blows, you know, they're killing each other and all that. And, but he's saying that, you know, if he could change his perspective on things and anybody can change and they all could change, you know, the way he says it and he gives that motiv motivational speech at the end of it, you know, really speaks volumes on his character and all that. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the top match for me. The final match, top final match for me is going to be from Rocky 2. This one, uh, the way it just culminates everything that happened in the first movie, going into the second movie, and then going into this final match. Just the culmination between those two movies, it ends off with this match, a rematch between Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa. And this is um, another one that has a great score to it. This match is it really talks about, like, it really speaks on how um rocky is how he was throughout the first movie and the second movie and then you know shows the character of apollo 2 um you know everything that they're able to do and then you know it culminates with everything that happened in the first movie and the second movie and then you know to culminate to where rocky ends up winning the match and it becomes champion you know it was, it was one of the things i like about rocky at least the first one and going to the second one i like how he basically lost it was a split decision but he did lose in the first movie which i kind of like that he lost because it shows that he was just proving himself and all that but i like how he won in the second one because he becomes a champion and all that and it just shows that he proved he tried to prove himself again and the way that he was able to win and become champion really speaks on it on between the first and two the first two movies you know really speaks on it and able to culminate with that with that match and then have him win and become champion honestly awesome moment one of the best moments in the whole franchise of Rocky and Creed movies, one of my favorites to see too. So uh, yeah, that's going to be the final match that I choose at the top spot for me. But uh, let me know down in the comments below what would you, how would you rank these final fights? That's going to do all for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to be a part of Team Legendary, all you gotta do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know I post another video. Hope you all have an awesome day, and remember, be legendary.